Hey guys, welcome back to the channel, Ross here. And sometimes as you find yourself in many World War II games, especially Hearts of Iron, you want to know how to drop an atomic bomb. So how to get an atomic bomb is first you have to go into your research tree and go all the way to the right hand side, which is actually uh, engineering. And you can see here's your atomic research tree. It starts with simple just atomic research and then nuclear reactors. And finally, in 1945, you are able to unlock the nuclear bomb. Now, any, it seems, uh, country can start this. I am playing as the German Reich, and I now have 13 atomic bombs. And the key thing is I have seven nuclear um, facilities or nuclear reactors. Now, how you do that is you go into your construction tab with shortcut T, and then you can build nuclear reactors. They're fairly expensive construction costs, so it will take some time, but seven of them seems to get me 2% a day. So I get a new bomb, you know, 2% every single day. Um, so yeah, like 50 days, I, I mean, every 50 days I can get a new bomb. Um, so how you actually d drop the nuclear bomb is you need a couple things. One, you need a strategic bomber that's actually in range of your target. So I want to drop it on London. Now, one thing you want to uh, check out is your strategic air map. And you can see I have lots of different planes right here uh, going in. Um, you can click on here. We can see that they only have 26 enemy fighters left and they have enemy air anti air guns at 25. I have uh, 1,500 fighters, and I got strategic bombers, I got missiles, I got a whole bunch of stuff. And well, you know, Great Britain just keeps on pissing me off, so I feel like bombing them. As you can see, I have bombers going down right now. Now, how do you actually bomb them? You can't just load it into a bomb or anything like that. What you have to do is you have to go into your default map mode, click on the target area that you want, like I want London. London right here, and you can see that it has nine infrastructure, has radar stations, has anti-air. Now, I can drop a nuclear bomb on London. Now, I could also drop it on Birmingham right now, but see, Birmingham's, uh, you can see right there, damage levels uh, is kind of low there. Um, and I can kind of destroy that right out there. And this is not even, oh, it doesn't even have anything of use really. So you know what, let's drop it for the heck of it. We're gonna drop it on uh, right here onto London and we'll see how this happens. It'll be dropping in 12 hours. And you can see, oh, look at that. <laughs> now that is what you wanna see. Now, I wonder if it actually killed off all the planes, though, in there, or the planes are okay. It seems like the planes are okay. The planes are all right. Uh, but we just nuked London. <laughs> that is awesome. And now we can click on here and see what kind of damage it's have. Um, damage the infrastructure to the air bases, to, but the anti-aircraft guns is still pretty low. Um, you know what, for shits and giggles, we're actually going to also nuke um, Birmingham as well. Okay. Oh, look at this world news. Atomic bombing of London. A nuclear explosion has devastated the city of London today, despite the city's anti-air defenses. United Kingdom was not prepared for this attack at 1, 20, uh, 1 p.m. 24th of October 1948. Big Bang chimed for the last time having been melted by the blast. Early reports suggest that Buckingham Palace has been completely leveled and whereabouts of the royal family are currently unknown. Winston Ch uh, Churchill has none, uh, nevertheless been confirmed to have survived and is preparing a rousing speech for the radio later today. With morale for an all-time low, the British people are, is in a dire need of this, or a very eloquent surrender. Nice. We're gonna bomb Birmingham. <laughs> there goes Birmingham, bye-bye. Damn you, Britain. Keep on messing with me. Can we bomb? Oh, uh, see, now, right here, you can see uh, the dr bomb drop window is out. It's grayed out because I do not have air superiority or a bomber in range. So that's something to keep in note. And so enjoy bombing and nuking your enemies. As always, I'm the Flying Ross. I'll check you guys next time.